Certainly has been a lot of talk lately about the flu-like coronavirus emanating from the Wuhan region of China. Today, the death toll there jumped from 9 to 17. That's according to Chinese state media. And they're also saying there are 544 people who are actually infected. Yesterday, a case was confirmed in the United States as the CDC was expanding the screening of airline passengers from that central Chinese city at five American airports. Wuhan, if you've not heard of it, is a central Chinese city of 11 million people. And that's where the coronavirus outbreak began last month. Today, the Chinese government took an unprecedented action. Beginning in about three hours, Chinese authorities are planning to close off Wuhan, canceling planes and trains leaving the city, as well as suspending buses, subways, and ferries within it. So here to help us understand coronavirus is Dr. Michelle Barron. She's the medical director for infection control and prevention at the University of Colorado Hospital at the Anschutz Medical Campus. So what is coronavirus? Is this, this is common to people in your field. I, we don't hear that term that often. Sure, and so coronavirus is a group of viruses, so there's more than one. And most of these are actually the cause of the common cold. So individuals at this time of year that have a runny nose and a cough probably have had a coronavirus. And we've actually had, ex you just don't typically go to the doctor and get tested and you're right. typically not told that that's what it is. Why so much concern about this one? The reason is um, obviously because of the extent of disease that's causing, it's causing. So people that normally get coronavirus infections, usually it's limited to the upper airway. Right. In these cases, lots of people are being hospitalized. They have pneumonia associated with it. So it's a different severity index. Most people don't typically die from a cold virus. And so that's why when this outbreak starts, Started, there was a high level of concern as to what the pathogen wants and then once it was identified a lot of history behind coronaviruses MERS and SARS popped into people's heads and made us concerned as well. I want to ask you about SARS and MERS in just a second but first this coronavirus has suddenly started to get everyone's attention there are people who are dying from it in sure. the Wuhan area uh, you've been this has been on your radar for a while longer though when did you first hear about this and, and start considering what we need to do about it? Uh, probably mid to late December is when it started to show up in some of the infectious disease blogs about this outbreak that was ongoing and at that point it hadn't really been identified as a coronavirus but certainly there was awareness that there was this ongoing outbreak and that it was probably infectious in etiology and that we needed to pay attention because until we knew what it was, we didn't know how it would spread or what the risk of getting it would be. Every couple of years, there's something like a bird flu or SARS or something that gets the world's attention. Do we learn something each time one of these outbreaks happens as far as how we manage them, how we best take care of them? Absolutely. I think probably Ebola was the biggest lesson that we've had more recently in terms of how easily someone can be in one part of the world and be somewhere else. And the bad thing is that often the symptoms that they present with are pretty nonspecific. They sound like they have the flu. And we're in flu season right now. So if somebody came back from travels and said, I feel like the flu, you'd probably think they had the flu unless you knew that one of these things was going on. So how do we contain it? How do we as individuals, we're 7,000 miles away from Wuhan here in Denver, but it is uh, something that we need to be concerned with? Something to be aware of. I'm not sure that concern is the right word. I think if you're traveling to China, obviously it's something to be mm -hmm. even more hyper aware of. Um, but I think there's still a lot of answers we don't have. And at this point, because we're still in respiratory viral season, the recommendations for the this novel coronavirus are the same I would tell you for the rest. Wash your hands, be diligent about cleaning surfaces, wear a mask if you're sick or if you're going to be in crowded locations and they're worried about getting sick. Well, there's a lot to consider here, so we're going to be continuing the conversation. Dr. Barron is going to help us out. She's going to join us over on Facebook Live in a couple of minutes. So if you have questions or if you want to learn more, go to our Facebook page. Dr. Barron, we appreciate you taking the time to join us this afternoon. My pleasure. All right. Alex, Kim, back to you.